Magandang umaga po mga kapatid sa Good Neighbor Christian Fellowship at sa lahat po ng ating mga kaibigan at mga kapatiran sa iba't ibang bahagi po ng Pilipinas at ng Daigdig. Ito po ang last Sunday ng February, February 27. At tayo po ay nagagalak sa Panginoon na magkasama-sama, pa, magkasama-sama minsan pa sa ating pong gawain online. Ang ating pong theme, A Man After God's own heart referring to David those words were given by God referring to David and and today for one last look we will try to see the kind of heart that David has at ito po mensaheng ito ay pinamagatan po nating a broken spirit and a contrite heart a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Heart. Bago po tayo magbasa ng ating pong text from the book of Psalm, samahan niyo po ako sa isang panalangin. Panginoon, salamat po sa iyong kagandahang loob, salamat po sa pagkakataong makapag-aral ng iyong mga salita, salamat po sa pagkakataong magsama-sama sa pagsamba through online worship service. Salamat po sa mga kapatid namin matapat na nagtataguyod ng iyong mga gawain, matapat na sumusuporta sa iyong mga gawain, matapat Panginoon na nagbabahagi na iyong mga gawain sa aming pong mga mahal sa buhay. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang kasama namin at kami po'y nagpupuro sa iyong kagandahang loob, sa iyong katapatan sa amin, sa iyong biyaya, sa iyong pong walang sawang uh, pagpapala, sa iyong pong walang sawang pag-ibig sa aming lahat. We thank you. You bless us. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Ito pong babasahin ko, mga kapatid, ay isang psalm na isinulat ni King David nung siya po ay nahulog sa kasalanan. Yes po, kahit po ikaw ay isang taong a man after God's own heart, isang taong ang puso ay kawangis, katulad ng, ng puso ng Diyos, na uh, isang taong nagnanasang maging uh, katulad ng puso ng Diyos, ay hindi po nawawala yung katotohanan na tayo po ay uh, mga taong ma- ma- makasalanan, mga taong may kahinaan, mga taong uh, talaga po hindi perfect. And never for a moment na dapat natin i-entertain yung thought na tayo magiging perfect in this side of heaven, in this life. It will never happen. Sa so, pagka tayo po ay ipinanganak sa kasalanan, at tayo po ay may dugong makasalanan, at tayo po mga kapatid ay uh, mag struggle sa kasalanan for as long as we live. The flesh is willing, uh, no, no, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yan po ang sabi ng Panginoong Jesus. But then again, what happened is, nung tayo po ay tumanggap kay Kristo bilang Panginoon at tagapaglitas, binigyan niya tayo ng bagong puso, ng isang bagong buhay espiritual. At yan po ang nakikipaglaban sa mga kahinaan ng ating laman. And by the power of God, by the grace of God, by the Spirit of God, we will overcome all the weaknesses and shortcomings and failures of our flesh. Just the same, Papaano po na ang isang taong nagkasala ay, ay pwede pa rin maging man after God's own heart? Is that possible? Is it possible to be a sinner? Is it possible to be a failure? Is it possible to fall into sin yeah, and, and, and disobey God and, 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 and do something really bad and still be a man after God's own heart? At yan po mga kapatid ang nakita natin sa buhay ni King David. Yung pong kanyang kahinaan at kasalanan did not change the fact that God said, Here is a man after my own heart. So Psalm chapter 51, babasahin ko po pati headings niya. Babasahin ko po yung ilang mga verses. Just, just follow along and try to feel the heart of David as he made this confession before God. Psalm 51. For the director of music, a psalm of David, when the prophet Nathan came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. So this is the heart of David when he was crying out to God, when he was confronted by the prophet Nathan about his sin against God, about about his sin 
uh, uh, with, with, with Bathsheba in this adultery and murder cover-up. Let's read beginning with verse 1. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you and you only I have sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So that when you so that you are proved right when you speak and justified when you judge. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. What can you feel here in this confession of David to God? Oh, it was painful. It was deep, deep pain coming from a heart that is disgraced and ashamed and broken before God. He was asking for forgiveness. He was asking for compassion. He was asking for mercy. He was asking for cleansing. And he is not making any justification for his sins. He's admitting it he's, he's accepting it he's he's asking god for forgiveness mga kapatid kaya po ang title ng mensaheng ito ay a, a broken spirit and a contrite heart a man after god's own heart will remain to be a man after god's own heart after failures, after sins, after mistakes, after tragedy, when God finds in you a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Yun po ang hindi niya nakita kay Satan when Satan has committed sin against God, when Satan has committed pride against God, and, and, and Satan, Lucifer, the star of the morning, was cast out by God from the heavens. You can find that in Ezekiel. You can find that in the book of Isaiah where God cast him out to the darkness because of the sin of pride, because of the sin of rebellion and evil and iniquity. He did not have a broken spirit and he never will. He did not have a contrite heart and he never will. But David acknowledged his sins and God and David confessed his sins and asked God for mercy, asked God for compassion, asked God for cleansing. Verse, verse 6, Surely you desire truth in the inner part. You teach me wisdom in my inmost place. You see, God is... Is, is desiring for the truth in your inward part, meaning that there should be a total openness and confession of sin. No hiding your sin. No justifying your sin or rationalize, rash, rationalizing your sin. It's, it's all totally, totally uh, surrendering to God. Everything you've done that is wrong. Sabi po niya, verse 7, Cleanse me with high soap and I will be clean. Wash me and I'll be whiter than snow. See, God, he's asking God for cleansing. And let me tell you, the blood of Jesus is able to cleanse all our sins. The blood of Jesus is able to renew our hearts. In fact, yung po ang kanyang, yung po ang kanyang uh, panalangin, verse 10, Create in me a pure heart O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. This is what shows you the true heart of David. Yes, he's not perfect. Yes, he has committed such a grave sin against God, but his desire is for a pure heart. 
Verse 10, create in me a pure heart. Oh God, that is what I want. A pure heart. Help me. Have mercy. Have compassion. Cleanse me. This is what I want. I want a pure heart before you. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Renew. Another word for restore. Di po ba sa my Psalm 23? He restoreth my soul. Restore meaning kapag po tayo naligaw, He will restore. Pag tayo napalayo, He will restore. Pag tayo po uh, tayo po na, 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 nagkamali, He will restore. Pag tayo po yung sugatan, He will restore. Pag tayo po ay uh, may karamdaman, He will restore. He will restore. He restores my soul. What a beautiful Savior we have. What a beautiful God we have. Na hindi niya po tayo binibilangan ng ating mga kasalanan. Sabi niya po, love keeps no records of wrong because He washed them clean with the precious, precious, precious blood of Jesus. It's not what you do. It is what Jesus has done for you that matters in the eyes of God before the judgment seat of God. That gives us hope, di ba? That gives you hope, that gives me hope that in times of our failures and sin, in times of our great difficulty, we can count on God who will never turn His back on us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will never be angry with us forever because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful message of God's word. What a beautiful promise. What a beautiful hope. What a beautiful hope. There's nothing better to hear in this world of bad news in this time of bad news. This is good news. Good news that sinners like you and me can be forgiven, can be cleansed, can be renewed, restored, and receive a pure heart from God. In fact, mayroon po siyang dalangin sa request sa Panginoon, verse 11, Do not cast me from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. But let me tell you, the most beautiful thing in us, for us, is the presence of God. There's nothing more beautiful than to be in the presence of God. There's nothing more precious than to be in the presence of God and sin will separate you away from God. Yung po sabi sa Isaiah, your sin has separated you from your God, that He will not hear you, or that He will not reach you. Oh, but God is a God of forgiveness and mercy and compassion. And so David was asking for God's love, do not cast me away from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. And you know the answer to that? Yes, He will not cast you away from His presence. He will not take away the Holy Spirit from you because of Jesus. Only because of Jesus. Kaya nga po sabi sa John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said, no one goes to the Father except through me because on our own, we cannot go there. We cannot get there. We're not worthy. We're not able. We don't have the power. We don't have the capacity. We don't have the way to make our to make our way up there because only three, Jesus Christ can do that for us. Verse 12, restore to me the joy of your salvation. You lose your joy when you fall into sin. You lose your joy when you fall into a, a compromise. When you, you, when you fall into disgraceful acts, disobedience and rebellion and defiance against the will of God, you, you lost the joy. Oh, but when you come to Jesus and you ask for forgiveness, He will restore to you the joy of your salvation. The same joy you get when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The same joy you get when you were filled with the Holy Spirit. The same joy you get when you enjoy the presence of God. God will restore it to you through Jesus Christ. Grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. God will even work in your spirit to give you that, that persistence, to give you that, that, that patience, to give you that 
determination, that willing spirit, that submissive, obedient spirit that will sustain you through, through the most difficult of situations. Sabi nga, even though I walk through the dark valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Psalm 23. Mga kapatid, hindi lang po yun valley of death, physical death. It could also be a valley of, of, of darkness because of temptations and, and, and attacks uh, from the enemy to your soul. You're struggling to make it. You're struggling to survive. Don't worry. I will never fear. The Lord is with me even though I walk through that dark valley. Beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. In fact, verse 16, it po sabi ni King David, You do not delight in sacrifice or I will bring it. Kasi po sa Old Testament, mga kapatid, you know, kapag nagkasala ka, magdala ka lang ng tupa, ihandog mo dun sa altar ng templo, at uh, ikaw ay bibigyan ng cleansing. But that is only ceremonial cleansing. The true cleansing comes from the blood of Jesus Christ. So hindi po nire-require ng Panginoon yung just the animal sacrifice of bulls, the animal sacrifice of, of sheep, the animal sacrifice of, of birds and doves. Because sabi niya, uh, you do not delight in sacrifice or I would bring it. Lord God, kung gusto mo lang magbigay ako ng tithes, I'll bring it. Lord God, kung gusto mo lang mag-offering ako, I'll bring it. Kung gusto mo mag-donate ako, I'll bring it. Anything, Lord God, that will remove the guilt and shame of my soul, I'll bring it. Oh, but David said, no, no, no. You do not delight in that kind of sacrifice because you know I will bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings because you know I'll bring it. Oh, this is what God wants. This is what God wants. Verse 17, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Oh God, you will not despise. A broken, a broken spirit and a contrite heart. A broken spirit is a spirit that has confessed his sins, and shortcomings and failures before God, a broken spirit, spirit that has surrendered and submitted himself totally to God, who would not justify himself but accept the penalty of his sins and accept the displeasure of his God. A broken spirit, a contrite heart, a heart that is repentant, a heart that is humble, a heart that is aching, a heart that is in pain, because of the sin committed and a, a heart that is willing to, to return. A heart that is willing to change. A heart that is willing to surrender it. There's no defiance. There's no fighting. There's no rebellion. There's no resistance anymore. It's all, it's all surrendering to God. That kind of spirit. And let me tell you, when you have a broken spirit, when you have a contrite heart, God will not despise. God will not reject. God will not, God will not uh, uh, overlook. God will welcome. God will accept. God will reach out to a person who has a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Oh God, you will not despise. You know, ano, mga kapatid, alam niyo po kung ano ang mensahe nito sa ating lahat. Ang mensahe nito sa ating lahat ay huwag po tayong mag-atubili na lumapit sa Diyos sa panahon na tayo po ay nagkakasala at lahat naman po tayo ay nagkakasala. Sa panahon na tayo nagkukulang, sa panahon na tayo nagkakamali, sa panahon na tayo nanghihina, sa panahon na tayo natutukso, sa panahon na tayo natatangay ng kaaway, sa panahon mga kapatid na tayo nawawala sa liwanan. No! Come to your senses para po yung prodigal son. Come to your senses and return to God the Father. Come to your senses and, 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 and surrender everything to God the Father. Come to your senses and embrace the mercy of God, the compassion of God, the unfailing love of God, the steadfast love of God, 
and you will receive forgiveness and cleansing. You will receive mercy and compassion. You will receive a pure heart, a new heart, a renewal of heart, a restoration of heart, and the abundance of God's love and favor. Yun po mga kapatid, ang pag-asa nating lahat. Kaya nga po nananawagan tayo, huwag tayong lalayo sa Diyos. Huwag tayong tatam- tatalikod sa Diyos. Huwag tayong magtatampo sa Diyos. Huwag tayong mahihiya sa Diyos. Just come. Just come. Masabi nga po sa Bible, come, let us reason together. Isaiah chapter 1. If your sin is a scarlet, red scarlet, we God can turn it into whiter than snow. Yung po ang sabi doon. That's the power of God. That's the love of God. That is the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, the question is, pwede po ba tayong magkaroon ng a man after God's own heart? Kahit tayo nagkukulang, nakakasala, nakakamali, naliligaw ng landas, kamukha po ni David, the answer is absolutely yes. Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus Christ. Kaya po mga kapatid, ako po sa aking sarili, sa tagal po ng panahon ako'y naglilingkod sa Diyos, alam ko po ang, ang danger ng uh, buhay na talaga po minsan tayo nadadapa, minsan tayo na, na bumabagsak, minsan po tayo pang mga kapatid ay naliligaw, Nakaka, na, nakakahurag po tayo, nalalayo tayo. Oh, but God is faithful. Oh, God is faithful. Sabi nga po ni David, I've been young and now I'm old. And yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or the children begging for bread. I can say to you, na ako'y naging bata ngayon, matanda na po ako. And let me tell you, kailanman hindi niya tayo pababayaan, kailanman hindi tayo iiwanan, kailanman hindi tayo tatalikuran. Sapagkat so, that's the kind of God He is. That's the kind of God He is. Kaya po, ano man ang sabihin ng tao, niyo po, ang tao niyo, laging may masasabi yan, laging may huhusgahan. Oo, oh, ganyan ba mga Kristiyano? Oo, oh, ganyan ba mga born again? Oo, oh, ganyan ba mga ministro niyo? Ganyan ba mga pastor niyo? Oo, oh, ganyan ba ang mga past- mga, lingu- mga mga leaders niyo? Oh, they can say whatever they want to say. It's not because of what I did that I'll be accepted in the beloved. It's because of what Jesus has has done. that I have been accepted in the Beloved, that I have become a part of the family of God. And so, wala po tayong bilangan ng kasalanan. Wala po tayong husgahan dito. Do not judge so that you will not be judged. Uh, tayo po ay pantay-pantay na tinanggap ng Diyos ayon sa kanyang kahabagan. Walang mataas, walang mababa, walang ma- mahalaga, walang hindi mahalaga, walang importante, walang hindi importante. Walang palakasan, walang pagalingan, lahat po tayo ay lumalapit sa Diyos, tangi lamang sa kanyang biyaya. At sa biyaya ng Diyos, we can live a life of a man or a woman after God's own heart. Pag hindi nagbabago yung the, the passion of our heart, the cries of our heart, I want to be like Jesus, I want to serve Jesus and live for Jesus. That passion will continue to burn in your heart and burn in your soul until the day you say, You say goodbye to this planet and you say you say welcome to the kingdom of God. And that is beautiful, isn't it? That's a beautiful, 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 beautiful life. Kaya po tayo excited, kaya po tayo uh, laging uh, um, nagpapakasipag. Sabi nga po sa Biblia, magpakasipag kayo sa gawain para sa Panginoon. Yamang nalalaman yung hindi nawawala ng kabuluhan ang inyong mga pagpapagal para sa Kanya. 1 Corinthians 15. 58. Oh, beautiful. And yeah, let me tell you, next week, the start of March, we have a, a, a new series of lesson on loving God and loving our neighbor as we love ourselves. The greatest commandments in the Bible. Isn't it wonderful that every month we're learning something new, something important, something special, and something that will lift our heart and soul closer and closer and closer to our living God. Oh, Glory, glory to His name. Will you join me in a word of prayer? Oh Father, salamat po sa iyong kagandahang loob. Salamat po sa iyong kabiyaya at ka, uh, kahabagan. Salamat po sa iyong walang sawang pag-ibig at pagmamahal na hindi mo kami kailanman i-reject o tatalikuran o pababayaan. 
And for that, Father, we, we, we stand on the mercy of God, the compassion of God, knowing that God will always be there for us. Please forgive us sa lahat aming mga pagkukulang. Forgive us sa lahat aming mga pagkakamali, sa aming mga failures, sa aming mga kasalanan. Lord God, create in us a clean heart. Restore unto us the joy of our salvation, Father. And God, help that we may maintain that broken spirit and that contrite heart that you will never, never despise, never, never reject. Oh, we want to be a man, a woman after God's own heart. Now and for the rest of our lives, now and for the rest of our time on planet Earth. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you very much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you again. Till then, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you His peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Everybody say, Amen. Amen. God bless you all.